Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be looking at my new car. So yeah, Audrey finally got a new car. We're all just going to show you. It's something really, really awesome. It's the newest car we've ever owned. It's the Same. nicest. <laughs> Before we show you guys, we wanna talk about the Escape. We wanna talk how we got to this car. We just wanna give you guys some background. So like two years ago, Audrey got her first car. We, uh -huh. Pronk, we picked out a 2003 Ford Escape. She was beautiful. We, we got it completely stock, as you all know. It was a V6, it was automatic. It was okay. I mean, we got it for like two grand. The interior was nice which or it was the interior yeah, was nice it, it looked clean on the outside it had some that rust bad. that had been repaired yeah but it, you know it was pretty decent we drove it the ac worked the heat worked everything worked it it was like a nice little car you drove it around stock for a little bit we started making videos on it modifying it so we wanted to make it more look a little sportier a little bit newer we got wheels we lowered it uh we painted the trim black we got a new radio for it got a new radio awesome yeah and then we kind of just left it as is we had done everything we liked and then it started being a Ford and we had to fix or repair it daily. Let's go back to, oh, I don't know, when it first got a check engine light. Had 130,000 miles on it, got a check engine light, and it was O2 sensors. So, placed both the O2 sensors. Not a huge deal. Kept driving it, it was fine. At this point, the suspension had started to make some noises. So every time, every once in a while, when you go over a bump, there's a big clank. I think, what was it, last winter? It started whining. So it kind of sounded like it was supercharged, which kind of sounded cool, but, but it wasn't it was right. <laughs> And it, it was the power steering pump. So the power steering pump started to go out. Um, so yeah, I drove it for a long time without power steering. Power steering. That's why I'm so ripped. It was in the middle. <laughs> it was in the middle of winter. Power steering went out. I don't want to fix it. So. And then the heat started going out. Oh yeah, last I, winter. All winter I had no heat in my car. It was awful. The heater core must have been clogged or something. It like kind of worked, but it was it lukewarm. Mean, it, so the heater core went out, power steering's out, suspension is clanking. Come spring, we we ended up fixing the power steering pump. Problem about the power steering pump on the Ford Escape, you have to take the intake manifold off. We took the intake manifold off, you know, we replaced the power steering pump, put the intake manifold back on, and then it had a check engine light and I had a check engine light for a vacuum leak. It was on and off for a while, like it, it turned itself off a couple times, but then it just stayed on. We checked all the vacuum lines, checked the intake manifold gasket, nothing seemed to be bad. So it had this mysterious check engine light for a vacuum leak and we couldn't figure it out. Then the O2 sensors went bad again, so we had to replace those again, I remember that. We had to replace mm -hmm. the upstream ones, so the downstream ones. Then one day she's driving and it just shuts off on her. And she sent me a video of her trying to start it and it was going and I was almost positive that she had ran out of oil and it had I knew I didn't though, because I had been, I, like, I was always putting oil in that thing. Right, but we, so. we ran it pretty low a couple times, so I was worried that it was that. Turns out the AC compressor had seized, locked the entire serpentine belt, so the starter couldn't crank the motor. So we replaced the AC compressor, get it refilled with AC. The engine has like a separate belt to run the uh, the water pump. Pulley on that had seized, but the belt had kept spinning, so the pulley had this giant groove dug out of it because the belt had just kept spinning. Yeah. That had to be replaced. That was actually a really expensive part. It was like 300 bucks, but we found it on Amazon for cheap. One day her brake line exploded from rust. I luckily was legitimately in, in a my parking work lot. parking lot. I was trying to leave, started pulling out, and then I was like, oh shit, my brake's not working. In the process of fixing that brake line, the calipers were all rusted and seized up, so we couldn't bleed the brakes, so I had to replace a rear uh, caliper and some drum components and point is that this car broke started breaking things so often once we fixed something something else broke it was bad uh, and it left her stranded a bunch so I didn't trust the car there's a point I haven't hadn't driven the car for six months right so we parked it I didn't trust it we parked it outside the shop it sat for a couple months and I just drove her to work also, the wheel bearings kept going bad. Kept we had to replace bad. three wheel bearings. Yeah, well, so we replaced two, and then and the then third, third one started one... going bad, and we're like, no. Yeah, yeah, we're just not gonna drive it at that point. Yeah. Like, once it got to the point where it was like really making noises, we're like, okay, that's fine. So then another reason for the car to just oh, sit there. And the battery went bad. We had to get, replace had the to, battery. Yeah, it left us stranded out by my parents, which not a huge deal. So we sold it with a bunch of those problems for really, really cheap. We totally lost money on that thing, but we sold it, and then we got this thing. It's a new car car we like, wanted something new like 2000 tons a newer um, right we wanted to try to get something that was kind of fast and kind of fun something that we can make videos on but, something that she can learn to work uh, yeah cars something with. that i i really love mom cars so she wanted a four-door she didn't want a miata or anything yeah, like that she I wanted like, anything, a, like sporty like super sporty i just wanted something that was like 
nice to drive, but could do something yeah. more than drive. So, point is, this is what we got. So this is it, the legendary Mark, no, no, <laughs> Mark 6 Volkswagen Golf GTI. As you can hear, it is the DSG version, automatic. I used to hate on this transmission, but this thing is really fun. It shifts so fast, it makes the, you know, classical fart noises in between shifts. And has paddle shifters. It's got paddle shifters. It shifts so quickly. Not just the powertrain, drivetrain, everything about this car. So much nicer than what we're used to. It's got a sunroof. Sunroof. Cruise control, uh, 30 miles per gallon, heated seats, working heat, working air conditioning, Bluetooth built in. This car is really, 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 really clean. We got a pretty lucky find. One owner, so, well, now two owner. We are the second owner. The first owner took really good care of it. Great care of it, which is yeah. beautiful. And it came with winter tires, which is super great for right now. Yeah. And then later on, I can get new wheels and tires. Right, so I was gonna say the, the current wheels and tires are not the most attractive, but you know, they're okay. But they are winter tires, so this will be a great set of winter wheels. I guess Audrey has started the conversation of what are we gonna do to it? Are we gonna modify it? Yes, we are. We're, so we are gonna modify it. Whenever we modify it, though, I'm gonna make her actually do the work. Yeah, I sure also. Once. Yeah, it's true. I also really want Audrey to get a little more confident driving in terms of spirited driving. So maybe we'll take her to an autocross or something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we should. That'd be really fun. I think it'd be fun. I don't, I'm not good at going fast. Yeah, the main important thing is that we are going to keep this car reliable and practical. So, no loud exhausts and no extra low, no no lowering. I think we're going to do like, you know, full bolt-ons, intake exhaust, downpipe, maybe a valve <laughs> exhaust, so it can be loud when I'm driving it, but also so it can be quiet. Intercooler, and then, a, you know, a tune. I want this thing if this thing could run 12s, I think that'd be really cool. We'll get new wheels and tires, get some probably new headlights, taillights, maybe like a front lip. Just make it look a little bit nicer, but... She looks great. We were looking at a lot of cars. We were looking at a lot of Volkswagens because for the, the age, the it's interior the is yeah. really, really nice. You know, my mom's 2015 has a similar interior as this 2011, so it is really nice in here. We were looking at Passats, we looked at Jettas, we looked at some TDIs. Everything was pretty boring besides the TDI was actually pretty fun to drive. But then we drove this thing and it's just so fun to just drive around. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's pretty torquey and it is pretty quick. And with the transmission, it's just, it's really fun. What'd you name the car, Audrey? You want to clarify that? Her name is Xanthippi. Xanthippi? Xanthippi. Xanthippi. I want to make sure it's spelled how it is. Yeah. X-A-N-T-H-I-T-P-I. Xanthippi. Short for Xan. Or long for Xan. Xan is short for... Yeah, Xan. We'll call her Xan. This is kind of new for the channel because it's a... It's a Volkswagen. It's a Euro car. Well, that too. It's literally new, but... It's also new in terms of something different. I'm happy to get into something that's a little bit different, a little out of the norm, something that's not an old Japanese car. If you think about it, the newest newest car that I own is the Subaru, which was 2003. Big jump from 2003 to 2011. The only problem about this is that, so this is, this is Audrey's car. I'm still stuck with a 2003, and as soon as I get rid of the Subaru, I'm stuck with a 1993. So I need to get something that's nice. The one thing I will say about the power band is that it's such a small turbo that after 5,000 RPMs, it does kind of drop off. 
I actually enjoy driving this car more if I'm shifting at five rather than I'm if I'm shifting at seven. Both a good thing and a bad thing because when you're just putting it around town, like first gear and second gear and third gear, if you just stay in the low RPMs, it's really torquey, really fun. I don't really know what else there is to say. Uh, I'm really excited for Audrey. I'm excited for us. Hopefully you guys are too. I'm excited to mod this car. I want to take it to the drag strip before we start modding. Um, because that would be like a good first experience. All you have to do is floor it instead of driving around cones and stuff. <laughs> you don't look like they're into the idea. But that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. If you're excited for a Volkswagen, give it a like. If you um, didn't like anything, give it a dislike and tell me why. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate that. Blah, 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 blah. I'm excited to see Audrey in more videos, hopefully, once we start to modify this thing. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and goodbye. Oh.